Hello everyone, Colin Cadet here for Woodwork Web. Today we've got a great little project. Today we're gonna, going to be making this little utilitarian box and we're only making it out of half inch construction grade plywood. Nothing fancy, but the design is quick and easy and you can make tons of these little boxes and they'll serve all sorts of purposes for you. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm working with today is some rough plywood. Uh, it's half inch plywood that I picked up at a construction site. In fact, I was walking by, I was walking the dog past a house they're building. They just got finished roofing and these are the off cuts from the roof and they had them at the end of the driveway um, to, to give away for free. So I picked them up and I thought, why not use these to make little boxes out of? You can cut them up into little parts and they're perfect for that. So the first thing we need to do is clean up some straight edges. Now to get started we need to have at least one straight edge and I'm going to be trimming this plywood and I'm going to be going with the grain even though there's cross grain in the center on the, on, on the front and the back I'm going to be going with the grain. Now, like a lot of things we do in the workshop here, we're not working from exact plans, but I do want to draw what the outside of the box is going to look like, because we need to have some sort of a reference. So we're going to make it 6 inches high, 6 inches long, or 12 inches long, and 6 inches wide. So the outside of the box will look like this. And that's all the reference that we really need. And watch as we go through what we cut away and, and how we get to these dimensions. I've installed a combination blade in my table saw because I'm going to be ripping and cross cutting. And for this, I don't want to have to change blades. And anyway, I'm using plywood. And because I've got a nice straight edge here, we're ready to start ripping. But the first thing I need to do is set the blade to the proper height which is just about a, a half tooth above the material. Set the distance of the fence to six inches. The next thing I want to do is square off all of these ends, then I'm going to gang cut them all to 12 inches so I cut them all to exactly the perfect length. And there's my mark. Now I also need to cut the ends and they're going to be six inches. So there's my six inch mark. But remember, they're also going to be inset just like the one piece box. So I'm just using a piece of scrap that I have from the cutoffs and there's going to be a quarter inch on each side which is half of this so that should be perfect okay here's all our pieces here's the top 
and the bottom and the two long sides and there's the short side. So let's take the top and the bottom first of all and I'm going to pick the best side to be on the outside so that'll be this side. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting a dado all the way along there on the inside. Same with the bottom. This is just to give you a bit of a reference. So there's the top and the bottom. The two sides are going to have only dados along the ends. Yeah, we'll put the writing on the inside like that. And then the very ends. So because we're not using a dado blade, we still need to cut this material off here. And so I'm going to reset the fence and the blade so that we make a perfect cut and remove this little block of wood here so that we end up with a perfect dado cut. Setting the blade height is pretty simple. We just use the cut from the last board we cut and set the blade just to the top of that last cut. Now setting the distance of the fence is going to be easy because we'll still be using our bar only this time we want to be on the outside of that blade Okay, the test looks good. We'll go ahead now and make all our final cuts. So there's all our pieces, our top and our bottom, our two sides and our two ends. Let's quickly throw these together and see how they look. So there's our box, uh, all glued together, sliced and hard, and because it's made out of rough plywood, it's, this is just a utilitarian type of box, but I'm still going to give it a little bit of a sand, just mostly to break the edges, and when I come back, we'll go to the table saw and we'll make a lid from the top. I'm going to set the fence at 5 inches, and that will give us a top of... Uh, a little over an inch or so. So let's go ahead and cut that.
So there's our little box with the lid, and I haven't attached the lid in any way. There's a couple things you can do. You could put some little tabs on the inside, glue little tabs on the inside like that, uh, and then that will grab and hold on so that it won't move off. I'm going to take a minute. I found some old hinges here. Uh, I'm just going to take a moment and put some hinges on, and uh, and then we'll uh, we'll finish up. Simple little design, very easy to make, just made out of construction grade plywood that was uh, a throwaway for somebody. The, the first one I made earlier, uh, I made to keep all my bicycle parts in, uh, and it's just a perfect, they're just a perfect size. You can make it whatever size you want. It fits all the parts for my bicycle, and I know where everything is, easy to find, and I don't even need a, a clasp for it. It's just a little storage thing. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one, but I'm always looking for places to store bits and pieces. Maybe I use this for drill bits or something. So, that concludes our video on making the little, the little storage box. If you like what we're doing, we ask you to subscribe to us. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. I'm Colin Canette for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.